So, hello everyone and welcome to One More Cup of Coffee, live from Buxton in the Peak District. This, I don't think it's that dark, is it? You are, you're there. Oh, sorry. Is this thing on? Oh, there you thank go. you. Right. I can hear him now. So, uh, <laughs> this guy here is Swamper, just to introduce Evening. him. And this very special guest, someone called Darren Lyons. He's very special, I'll give you that. <laughs> special needs. Um, well, listen, uh, we've got our breath back now. Uh, that fo- second 45 minutes, uh, well, uh, I think it typifies everything really that FC United possess, the uh, the heart, the endeavour, the quality. Uh, and uh, if the truth be known, and I know, I know a little bit biased, Darren, but uh, they were hanging on a little bit then, the second half, the, from a Buxton perspective, you know, FC United to, to 10 men. Yeah. Um, but let's talk about the, the opening 45, because it's always good to start off uh, uh, where things are going wrong and end up on a positive. <laughs> um, I mean, that first 45 minutes, uh, Buxton came out, uh, they changed the formation. Uh, they're yeah. normally playing a 4-3-3. They've changed it to, uh, to try to accommodate uh, the way FC play mm-hmm. uh, and, and try and get behind us and get uh, round us. And they did that with some success, in all fairness, for the first 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, some good play up top, got quality, quality pace. And the pace really just outdid us initially. I think we... The pace of the game passed us by in the midfield for for large parts of that uh, opening 45 is. But what what are your thoughts about how that first 45 uh, panned out compared to sort of the second 45? Uh, <laughs> well, if, if anybody's been watching the game, they'll see the two differences. But uh, to be fair, first half we <coughs> we um, we didn't get close enough to them. Um, I know, I know we've said this before, it's um, it's a bit frustrating that we have to go in at half-time and, and telling lads to get close and get in the faces and, 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 and battle with them because, to be fair to books, and that's what they did, they, they're going to get in your face, they're going to battle you and they're, gonna, you know, they're not going to give you time on the ball. But in, in all fairness, <laughs> it would be true to say, the reason why, to, to a degree, we didn't... Uh, Oh, it's going very dark here now, Ben. This is like it's like a Halloween so, version. Very this. Death, very it's very Halloween it's version. This because we've got some lovely light behind. Oh, look at this! Oh, it's a torch. It's not going to work for as long. He's going to be there for half an hour. Um, sometimes the opposition or anyone you play just have a 45 minutes of, of a bit of quality. And I know you said we never got close enough to them, but the <coughs> pace that they actually possessed in the opening 45, yeah. I think mo- any team would have struggled uh, against them. And, uh, you know, the goal came. I mean, it was uh, it was poor from a defensive perspective. I'm sure you agree, because the, the, yeah, the play on the right-hand side was tremendous. It was yeah. a great one-two there, and they went down the, down the right-hand side. But to let Jamie Green come from the left wing back position for 60 yards and basically put the yeah, ball to the, the back of the net. Yeah, the frustrating thing for us, Swamps, was we, we could have stopped the cross. Yeah. We've just been saying, getting a bit closer, stop the cross. It was too easy for him. Um, and then even when the ball come in the box, I think Lewis has, has put a lazy leg on it and, and Stotty's got sucked in and, and the lad's just, you know, at back post and thanks very much. It, it's, and it's 1-0 one, <coughs> one at that time. Um I mean, we, we in commentary, right the, the opening minute, in fairness, we go right back to that. From where we, we're here positioned, obviously we've got, you know, a, a good vantage point. Mm-hmm. We thought Carnell was perhaps a little bit fortuitous and a little bit lucky to be on the pitch because it looked for all intents and purposes. I know he had a slip and he stepped back, but once he stepped back and then the boot went in, I mean, we all, everyone that was commentating <coughs> here, including High Peak, they were all going, that could be a red. Yeah. And the referee <laughs> then just gave a free kick to FC yeah. United and nothing from that. So yeah. we rode a look a little bit there and that brings me then on to the actual sending off of Matthew Wolfenden. 186 uh, appearances for FC United of Manchester. Three yellow cards in his entire career, even as a professional footballer at Oldham Athletic. Yeah. He's going to be very disappointed with that. How did you see that from, from, from the dugout? It was shocking. I mean, to be fair, Wolfie, he could have had two or maybe three free kicks before that actually happened to him. And, and, and Matt is honest as the day is long, as we know, and he, he said, I lost my head a bit, but he didn't, you know, it's not a two-footed. He's, he's maybe, you see it every week in, week out, like where you get the full-back, you know, trying to put the ball down the line and the, and the wing, and the centre-forward or the wing is trying to stop it. So, and he catches his foot and it's his follow-through and everything and, and, and the lad's gone down and, and screamed and, like I said, it wasn't two-footed, it was a one-footed tackle. Um, we heard we heard from <coughs> uh, from a, a, an un an un uh, what's the word an un, uh, reliable source or just a an un, un- unreliable yeah, I'll take unreliable unreliable source that uh, the referee set him off for uh, intent more than the actual challenge. I mean I don't know how true that and if that's is. the case. And how come the lad that's run twenty yards and punched Matty in the face has got away with these? Well, these are questions that we like to find out and answer, <laughs> you know. Uh, but uh, I mean, it was disappointing because <coughs> we know we know Wolfie. I'm just by the way, what, if anyone's wondering, I'm here? getting some uh, I'm getting some uh, poppies. I'm getting some white peace poppies. Because 
because uh, they're, how much are they by the way can, is there ever a broadcast that can go by where we can't be political oh, well, have all that that's ok these, these aren't political pe- these aren't political poppies these are just the, the right poppies thank you very much uh, Lynette uh, <coughs> Lynette if anyone wants to get poppies get hold of Lynette uh, working class movement working, yeah of course yeah. Yeah. oh that's a bit political your, as well we can't do that working sh- class needs <laughs> but uh, um, thanks very much Lynette uh, it's I mean it, it, it's frustrating, you know. You see the likes of because we, we all know. I mean, referees don't know yeah. the honesty. And we always say he's an honest, an honest lad. He'd never do something. Like that. But referees not to know that ordinary unless they know the players that you know every player on the pitch. So the referee, I suppose, has done that for the the reason he think he seems as an intent. Yeah. And uh, as I said, there was maybe a couple of challenges on Matty before that that yeah. uh, but he could have blown up for, and uh, he didn't. And he's probably thinking that's Matty's retribution. Um, but that aside, we go in at half time one nil, and we saw you and uh, Carl and Dave <coughs> Brown um, having your sort of like Halloween huddle. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we we started saying, "Come well, it's going to be interesting now. What what they're going to say? How they're going to change it? Because certainly we need to get closer to the player, their players in the second half. You know, Birch is on a yellow card, mm. um, so again, are they going to make any changes? And uh, did you need to say anything at the second in, 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 in at half time, or did you let? The frustration of Matty being sent off, sort of like get the players. Yeah, the lads, were, the lads were pumped up anyway because they felt the injustice of what had happened, um, and we told them a few things like we just said about getting closer, and we changed the shape a bit, and we went to the four, uh, four three two, because um, we didn't take, want to take the impetus away from us going forward. That's a stop put area code number, by the way. You know, if you, yeah, in, in, in the Heatons, four three two was the number you could phone. Oh, right, okay. Uh. So we. Uh, <laughs> We didn't want to <laughs> stop the input to going forward. And Good stats. You know, take, cause we, we didn't want it to be going straight up and then straight back and we're under the cost for 45 minutes. Um, so we changed it, like I said, to 4 3 2. Knowles, was the Knowles coming <coughs> off, was that. Uh, tactical. Tactical. Yeah. Mm. Again, I think it's a very brave move mm. because certainly from uh, in the second half, my opening, my opening statement was that Ashworth has to have an absolute tremendous resolute second half he's a traditional kind of centre half mm. and I thought that was his best game in yeah. a red shirt because everything he did he just did it with purpose and he did it for the betterment of the team he just basically cleared his lines when he needed to <coughs> he headed the ball when he needed nothing fancy it yeah. was just a, a, a really hard fought second half performance because he's got two good centre forwards up there and yeah. the likes of Tut and then Reed comes on yeah pace um, and strong out the end. That, of that's course, what we yeah. tried to do we tried to match him up because Lewis is no slouch as you know um, and he's, he's getting stronger and stronger as he gets a, older and, and he's getting wiser as well um, and, will he have, and will, wiser? learn from that are we sure? yeah I'm sure <laughs> no, he is. No, he is. He, football wise he's, mm, he's, yeah. he's got a real oh, good football don't, in don't brain else. no I was going to say yes <laughs> <laughs> we can't be no no that's right um, but we come out second half yeah, and we started off with you know with yeah, where they started our there was, was a big fire there, yeah. desire quality mm. we put the ball out wide a lot easier and a lot quicker with purpose with a little bit of pace in the ball mm. and there was no there was no way that you would have ever told said if you'd come and sat down for the second half that team had 10 men mm. and were 1-0 down because they were the ascendancy for, yeah. for the vast majority of it um, again we get the equaliser uh, there could have been uh there could have been a um, a goal just before that. It was a great save by the goalkeeper, yeah. and it part comes out as a handball. And you're thinking, right? Oh, Dean's not. He's not taking the penalty since Chorley, uh, but he steps up, captain, mm-hmm. puts the ball into the back of net, and we're back on level terms. From that point, then, are you thinking from down down there? Right? Okay, we're back in this game now. We consolidate things, or do we go for the kill? Do we go for the to the win, even though we've got ten men? What are you? What kind of thought process well, do you have then? After we scored, it's like the first ten minutes. You just want to be be strong and be resolute because they're going to have the ten minutes where they've been hurt a bit because they're playing ten men, and um, it's a bit of like we shouldn't be getting beat or we shouldn't be drawing against ten men. It's it it, it hurts you a bit. So they're going to have the ten minutes, which I think they did to be fair. Uh, but the lads defended to a man and they were fantastic, um, and and we got what we deserved. And we could have had maybe snatched it on the break a couple of times with Greg and and Linny and what have you. So. You know, the lads are all buzzing down there. It feels like a win. Um, and, and that'll stand us in good stead for the next one. There's no question about it. It does feel like a win from a commentator's <coughs> perspective. It was it was, it was was a great game to actually commentate in the whole game mm. because I was very impressed with Buxton in the first 45 yeah. minutes. Um, I like the fact that we identified what they were doing well and how we could nullify that. Mm. 
And once we'd nullified that, they actually became not for be, trying to be too disrespectful, but a bit a ordinary. bit ordinary. Yeah. Uh, because we were closing down the space well. I thought Birch did a tremendous job considering, you know, and we were saying actually sometimes it, what, he needs the yellow card out of the way and that it settles him down because he knows then he can't do anything. And he, and he, and Keeps he, you know, him quiet because he does, can't yeah. keep quiet. Um, you know, so in that respect, but the defence worked <coughs> well. I mean, as, as a whole, I mean, tonight, I mean, it would be very difficult to give a man of the match, Ben. I mean, I don't know what you think uh, or, you know, on that pitch, who, who, who was the player that stood out for you? For, for me, it was it was well, it was Linf- Linfield. Yeah. I thought Craig, it was, yeah, I thought yeah, uh, not Craig. Well, not Craig. Sorry, I apologise. Craig had a good game. No, for me, Ashworth. Mm. Uh, just simply because that's a hard thing to do in the second half. You've just lost Knowles. Yeah. You know, you've got a big onus on yourself. You've got you know Tutton. You've got Reed. You've got um, you've got King. Mm. You know, these are good quality players, yeah, are, yeah. and he's just mm. everything he's done. He's done well. I have not necessarily been critical of him, but I'm saying he's, he's a traditional centre foot, centre half, where he wants to clear his ball, and sometimes the balls are over the top. But everything he did in this game, he did with purpose. Suited him, he suited game. him, yeah, mm-hmm. and, he, and I was really pleased with him. I thought yeah. Lewis Lacey again, more and more into the game, had a very, very good game. You know, you, you, you see, you can see the quality of the player. Mm. You know, no one really beats him for pace. He's strong. I mean, he stands with his shoulder now, and he, you know, he's learning. Yeah, he's learning because yeah. he's, 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 he's naive he's still, well. so he's learning. The books did not want to go home tonight. <laughs> oh right, okay, okay. Well, we'll. It, well, listen. Yeah, I've got work in the morning. Let's, uh, let's <laughs> sum it very, say, very quickly. How good is that light? Oh, well, it's not very good now, Ben. Oh, mm. good, um, <laughs> tremen- anyway, tremen- tremendous <laughs> point. Yeah. Feels like three. It moves, yeah. means we can move on. Uh, a big game on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, I know there's a number of injuries there. I know, uh, I mean, for me, talking to some of the players that never made it today, they're, they're up, they were upset that they weren't playing. But good. anyway, that's good. good. Yeah, so again, they'll be chomping at the bit to play mm-hmm. on Saturday. Yeah. Ben, we've got Witten Saturday. Yes, we It'll have. It'll be live. It will be live. And uh, we'll be with you. Darren, as always, I've been, been, I went to the dressing room to, to get him <laughs> and it's a buzz, he's buzzing in there. It really it's is. Just, it was a cracking yeah. no, second a great big, There's a great big bees nest. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's got to be big very careful. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Listen, see you on Saturday, Darren. Cheers, boys. Much appreciate coming along. Thank you. Another uh, Cheers, guys. game and a half uh, from FC United perspective. We're going to say goodbye now. Uh, this is one more cup of coffee, stroke cocoa and whatever it is. Ben? Get your head in the way, Swamper. Okay, get my head in the way. <laughs> So, it's now time to leave Silverlands. Have we already left? Well, well, yeah, by the time people watch this, we'll, have we ever been here? Now, that is a profound question. Mm-hmm. This has been FC Live, brought to you by ConstructorCoding.com and the Armchair Armour. And this has been One More Cup of Coffee. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>